Let's do a practice problem about the probability in genetics of a dihyperponent square. Wow, there's a lot of words there. Basically, this question is asking, what's the chance of having a certain offspring between two parents? The parents are both heterozygous for each genotype, big A, little a, big B, little b. And we want to know what the chance of having this offspring would be. Now, before you do your dihyperponent square, let's make this a little easier. I know I'm going to use the M word, but we're going to use math. Remember that the parents are going to have these two genotypes, and we're looking for the offspring that's going to be little a, little a, little b, little b. And also remember that you're going to get one allele or one letter from each genotype, which means you're going to get an A and a B from both parents. Let's look specifically at the A's and then specifically at the B's. What's the chance of getting a little a, little a from the combination of A's from the parents? If you do a quick Punnett square, it's a one in four chance. I'm not going to show the monohybrid Punnett square between the A's, but if you would complete it, it would be the bottom right corner. Now let's do the same thing for the B's. Again, it would be a one in four chance. So instead of writing out the whole Punnett square, we can take these two probabilities, the one in four probabilities for the A and the one in four probability for the Bs and multiply them together. So we take one out of four times one out of four and our answer is one out of 16. So without drawing out the whole Punnett square, we can use math to figure out the probability of having certain offspring in a dihybrid Punnett square. And if you do want to check your work, here is a dihybrid Punnett square. We can see here in the bottom right corner that there is a 1 in 16th chance of having little a, little a, little b, little b.